What's up guys, Hero in, and welcome to the final Spider-Man channel. This channel is all about video games, whether it's a gameplay video, walkthrough, or anything related to gaming. This game is Puzzle and Dragons, an iOS and Android mobile game where you grow an army of monsters by going through dungeons, match orbs of the same colors, and deal damage to enemy monsters as you progress deeper into the dungeons. With that said, let's go to the dungeons. So I've been trying to do a live recording of my gameplay and share it to YouTube right away, but for right now I pre-recorded this video to save as much time as I can. So going through the basics right now, I'm actually going to set up my username to be FinalSM. Back then my username was longer than just FinalSM though, so I guess they updated the word count when I last played this game. Since I'm starting anew, I wanted to share this to any newcomers that want to play the game and to properly show you a good walkthrough. So now you have three dragons to choose from, and I already know which one I'm going to pick already, but I'm going to show you the three to introduce you guys to the game. First and foremost, you got Tyra, the red fire dragon, pretty basic starter if you like red. Next up, you got Bracky, the green wind dragon, he's more advanced to level up. And finally, Plessy, the blue water dragon, and I picked him because I was already used to him the last time I played this game, so I went ahead and picked him. So now I'm going to speed this up for you guys so you don't get bored waiting for the whole features to download. I actually am excited to see what new features they added to this game. You know, I used to play this game a lot before the updates but had to quit because of school. But now that I'm back, I'm excited to see what they added. Now before I continue guys, and while the data is being downloaded, if you could please, please, please leave a like and a comment on my gameplay video, some feedback would be nice. And if you want to stick around to support my channel, then feel free to subscribe as it really does help grow the channel and keep moving forward with my future videos. So we're almost done with our downloads here and we're going to be installing these new features and we're going to be kicking things off around 3, 2, 1 and we're registering and connecting and awesome, we're getting greeted with the welcome and heading into the tutorial. So this is actually the tutorial of the game, you can read on if you like. It's just introducing the newcomers to the main interface. On your top left corner you can see the number of coins we get as we progress. On your top right you can see a rewards chest and the menu for when we want to pause the game. On our lower part of the interface you have three monsters, one of which is the main monster you chose to start off with, along with two extra monsters, and the last two items is the health bar and the orb puzzle. Now here you learn the basics of the game by moving the orbs in any way we want, whether it be up, down, left, or right, or even diagonal if you like, you have to match at least three orbs. And with the more orbs you match, you can make combos, and with the more combos you grow, the stronger your monster's attacks will be. So as you can see, this tutorial has three battle scenes. The first one was just guiding us how to maneuver and get to know the environment, while at the second one lets us figure things out on our own. So as you just saw, you may have also noticed that I am matching the orbs with the blue monster. Because I'm not just matching orbs of the same element as the monster, but I'm also matching the orbs of different kinds. So this is a really good strategy if you want certain monsters or all monsters to attack. Now every time we enter the last round of the stage, there's going to be that boss battle sound, and where you reach the end of the dungeon and need to beat the boss battle. So I actually went overboard here because I already knew how to maneuver around, and I'm just trying to match as many orbs as I can to see how many combos I can win. And with that we won our first dungeon and we're going to get to the rewards section right now. So we're in the rewards section so you can see how many coins you got throughout the dungeon and how many experience points you managed to get. If you get enough experience points you get to rank up. And the rewards kind of vary whether it be the max item collection or your stamina increases. You also manage to clear the stage during your first time so you get a magical stone. Whenever you clear a dungeon for the first time, you're guaranteed at least one magical stone. So make sure you clear those dungeons for the first time. Moving on to the next dungeon guys, here on this part of the tutorial is the helper section. This part of the game allows you to select another user's main monster as your helper monster, that way they can help you out as you go into the next dungeon. So as you can see, there are some monsters that are already stronger than ours, but it's all customized based on your rank. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and see what monsters we have to choose from. And we're looking at Anubis 13 here. He handles a Tyrannos. And what else? What else? We're going to go with Anubis 13, so shout out to Anubis 13. And we're going to use him as our helper, and we're going into the other tutorial dungeon. So this is more of a learning the damage and the turn taking of the game. So as you can see, these monsters have a blinking number on top, and that indicates when the monster will attack. So if you're not able to match the orbs fast enough to defeat it before it's turn to attack, then you're going to get attacked. 
So as you can see, I just got attacked right now, and I need to match some hard orbs so I can replenish some health. So the same structure as before guys, the first battle scene we're introduced to a game mechanic and on the second battle scene we learn how to use it. But I don't really actually use it right now so I'm just gonna try to land some combos right here. And now we're in the second boss battle of the dungeon so as you can see sometimes it will be one or more monsters to take down but I'm just gonna overkill again just to see how much I can land. And with that, we finished our second dungeon, and looks like we got another rank up. Let's check it out. So going to the reward section, let's hope for the rank up. We have a number of points, number of experience, and awesome, we got another rank up. Managed to clear the stage for the first time, so we're bound to get one guaranteed magical stone. We got an egg, and we get a monster. So actually, we can actually get these monsters so we can add to our collection and we can also use them for to add to our teams. So here we're in the helper user section where the game asks us if we can add someone as a friend, and I'm gonna say no for now, but rest assured I will add new friends in the game. But still, shout out to Anubis13 for helping us out. And now we're in the third part of the tutorial. This shows us that we can add our newly gained monster to our current team, and we're gonna go to edit team and we can make six different teams. But for now, we're going to edit our first one to add our new monster to the team. This is actually going to help us out when we get another stronger monster throughout the game. So moving on, we're going to add another helper to help us out in this next dungeon. So we're going to be scrolling around and see what we can get. As always, there's a variety of users who can lend us their monsters. So here we have Landon with his red ogre, and we're going to use him as our helper monster. So shout out to Landon for helping us out. So in this tutorial dungeon, we are going over the combos and mass attacks that I was showing you guys in the first few dungeons. As you can see, we're just going to match up one of these light orbs to match a total of 5 orbs in one line. So if you can match up to 5 or more of these orbs in one line, then you're guaranteed a mass attack, which is going to attack all the monsters in this battle scene. This is a very good strategy to use if you just want to get rid of all these monsters right away. So it can't get a bit overkill, and right now you can see that I can do another mass attack with my green elements, but I'm not going to use it. I'm still going to look for more combos. So we get another egg and we go into our third boss battle. And there's more than just two this time, that's good. So you can see that there's an opportunity to land a light mass attack, but I'm not going to use it right now, I'm just going to be using this for combos instead. So we managed to clear the dungeon for the first time once again, and we're going to go into the rewards section. So in the rewards section we can see we got a lot of coins and we got enough experience points to rank up once more. So we ranked up and we got another first time clear, which means we're getting another stone and we managed to get another egg in the dungeon which has another monster for us. And here we're given the opportunity to send a request, but I'm actually going to pass for this video, but still shout outs to Landon for helping us out. Now in this part of the tutorial we learn how we can increase our monsters powers to level them up against more enemy monsters in the future. Sometimes we can actually fuse monsters that we don't need and they can be good fusion material monsters for the monster that we chose to level up. So in this case I'm using Plessy to be the monster that I want to level up and I'm using Shiny as the monster that I'm going to fuse him with. So as you can see the fusion material monsters work and we managed to get Plessy strong enough to reach another level. And now that we got him strong enough, we're going to try him out in this next tutorial dungeon. So now we're going to get another helper monster to help us out in the dungeon, and I'm going to pick this next monster to take, so now we're going to see... We're going to see Ryan Brave 2 who is handling a Plessiel, and with that we're going into our next dungeon. So now we're in the fourth dungeon, and here we're just learning how to detect weaknesses and advantages against enemy monsters. 
you may have noticed that some monsters are weak against certain element types, such as fire types are weak against water types, water type monsters are weak against wind types, and wind type are weak against fire types. However, both light type and dark type monsters equally damage each other, so that's another main goal and strategy as you keep getting more monsters. So in this second battle scene, you'll see that this dark type monster is showing up and I'll be using a combo with my light type. So you can see that it not only attacks the monster, but because light and dark affect each other equally, my monster's attack points will increase as I damage the enemy monster. So now on this boss battle, you'll see that I'll be doing a few combos to attack these monsters, but if my monsters attack the wrong element type, then their attack points can drop. So be careful on the element orb you choose to attack with. And with that, we won our fourth dungeon, and if I saw correctly, we managed to get another egg, so we're gonna head to the reward section. So yes, as I said before, as you rank up, your reward can be either you increase your stamina or your max collection box for your monsters, and if you clear dungeons for the first time, you get a magical stone. And if the dungeons drop an egg, then you get a monster to use for your fusion materials or to add to your team. So once again, shoutouts to Ryan Brave 2 for helping us out, and now we're going to move on to our fifth and final tutorial dungeon. So once again, we're going to pick another helper monster, and we're going to go into our final dungeon. So Jojo, shoutouts to you for lending us your Plessy, and now we're in our fifth dungeon. And this last part is showing you how to use your monster's abilities as you go through the dungeons. These abilities, depending on your monsters, are very effective and can help take down monsters easier. For example, Plessy's ability allows you to do a 10 times ice water mass attack. So with these abilities, they are strong enough to take down an entire group of monsters so you can progress through the dungeons quicker. So now moving on, since we have another Plessy, we'll use the same ability to get through the dungeon quicker and carry on to the boss battle. So now we're in the boss battle and we have an extra ability to use, but I won't be using it, so instead I'll be matching orbs to see how many combos I can land. And with that, we finished our fifth and final dungeon of the tutorial. And we're moving on to the reward section, and with the accumulated experience points we got, we managed to rank up once again. Our stamina increased by 22 now, and we got our fifth magical stone. And with that, we get another egg, so that completes our team of five monsters. So once again, huge, huge shoutouts to Jojo for lending us his monster. And now the game is telling us that we have enough magical stones to get another monster to add to our team by going to the rare egg machine. So the rare egg machine actually costs us 5 stones to use once. And with this rare egg machine we can get a new monster that can vary whether it's a rare, very rare or even super rare monster. So as you can see it is a super rare monster and with that monster we can add him to our team. So once again, huge, huge shoutouts to our helpers Anubis13, Landon, Ryan Brave 2 and Jojo for helping us out in our tutorial dungeon. And that concludes the tutorial for the game, Puzzle and Dragons. Now to be fair, I have played this game before, so that does explain how I managed to land a few combos during the tutorials. I did enjoy the game, I'm not gonna lie, it felt good to go back and play the game to see what new features were added. Overall, can't wait to play this game again to see what new monsters were added and collect as many of them as I can. So if you liked the video, leave a like, and if you would like to share involving what you saw in the video, then leave a comment as well. And if you want to stick around and wait for new videos, then feel free to subscribe as it does help support the channel. Thank you for watching the final Spearman channel, stay safe out there, Hero out.